approximately 100 people in this audience right now. Statistically, all of you will be in a car crash, and at least one of you will die in a car crash, along with another 136 people that same hour. Luckily, car crash statistics have are declining, but we are still awfully far from having solved this problem. There are many types of car crashes, and some are certainly more if, no, some are certainly more dangerous than others, but I think I've, I've found an idea that I hope will help stop tailgating cr crashes. For years now in the U.S., there have been multiple million dollar car safety campaigns, and although those have been effective, there are still 5.5 million car crashes per year. I think this is because people, um, people don't remember those ads and posters when they're on the road. I've always been interested in technology, especially electronics, as I like building something that can perform a task. For example, last year I built a gumball machine that gave candy when you did a secret knock on the front panel. I, since fifth grade, I've built a computer and small robots and more. I wondered if I could turn this interest into a simple device to help with car crashes. While exploring the Arduino form, I found an idea for an anti-tailgating device that's mounted on the rear of a car. If a car gets too close, then it, a sensor will alert the driver. Tailgating is a contributed factor in more than one, in the more than a third of crashes and is one of the top causes of car crashes overall. My, my project uses an Arduino, which is a small computer fitted with a six-axis accelerometer, two infrared range sensors, a cable to connect to the car's computer, an LCD screen, and a bunch of code. To make it all work, you have to put the sensor where you want it to sense data from, then calibrate it. The sensor, when mounted on a car, can detect an object, or in this case, another car, if it gets too close to the driver driver, in which case the driver will get alerted through a small LCD screen mounted on the bottom left of the windshield. The rest of my electronics are to have help with false positives. Help with false positives. A false positive is a test result which indirectly indicates that a particular condition or attribute is present. For example, if there was a deadly version of the flu that only one in a million people had, and you and the test and you tested a million people with for it with a test that's ninety nine percent accurate, even though only one person has the disease, the test says ten thousand people do because it's ninety nine percent accurate. All the people that the test says have the disease but don't are false positives. In my case, the false positive is when the driver gets alerted for nothing or a curve. To prevent this, um, the accelerometer in the Arduino will temporarily deactivate the sensor while the, while the car is turning, and the cable that, to the car's computer will adjust the minimum, the alert distance if a car is going faster or slower. Though we haven't been able to test my device extensively, um, I have extensively, a test on the back of my parents' car revealed that it's mostly accurate and with more testing and improvements of, the soft, improvements of the software, the accuracy should improve. I hope that devices like mine and companies like Automatic that help connect to the car's computer will bring us one step closer to self-driving cars and self-driving cars and lower fatality rates. Thank you.